Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, Giyu packed the Pele card, so we're going to go ahead and actually review him on his account. So, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'9", medium, medium work rates, eh? Okay, okay, medium, medium work rates, left-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Interesting. In-game player traits, doesn't have the finesse shot trait, doesn't have the outside foot shot trait, but does have the flare trait in-game. In-game attributes, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a card who is set up in a way where I may either give him a hunter chemistry style or a hawk. Yeah, I want to try him with the hawk first because of the small pace boost, the shot power boost with the finishing. Yeah, but I feel like a hunter because of the plus 10 might be more ideal. Because the dribbling is set up nicely. What is his body type? His body type is... Oh, it doesn't say his body type. Right? No, it doesn't say his body type. Hawk, Hunter, Deadeye. A Deadeye. No, no, no. A Deadeye would be a waste. Because a Hunter, guys, gives him a plus 10 for finishing, a plus 5 for shot power. With a plus 5 for attacking positioning. See, that part of the card is strange. I want to see what that's like in-game. Because his attacking positioning is low with medium medium work rates you guys know me i'm not a huge fan of the medium medium work rates in fifa unless it's like a like a center back or something but even still i prefer to have like a medium high or something right uh so that's definitely going to be interesting to try outs for this card uh base card stats for passing very good you don't have to look at that too much as an attacker uh he does have 83 stamina so his original position being the cam position actually probably makes the most sense and it's probably the best area for him, which we are going to be trying him out in that position too. But for the sake of the review, we'll try him out in the striker area to see what his attacking AI is like. Uh, base card stats for dribbling in the 90s with 82 composure, which is interesting as well. And then last but not least, again, physical stats is going to have 70 for strength on the Hawk, but he doesn't really have any physical stats being a five foot nine player. So yeah, this card looks very interesting for this team, guys. We are going to be using a 4-2-3-1, you know, the basic stuff that we're using. Um, I'm going to switch this in-game, where I'm going to put Abedi Pele at the cam or in the cam position, and I'm going to switch Fakir off to the left, Dembele off to the right, so on and so forth, just to try and melt in those two main positions, because those are the main areas that I see the card being used in. So, yeah, we'll get into, uh, we'll get into a game, couple games, and uh, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, no. Come on, my guy. Gotta get that ball. Maybe a Hunter Chemistry style with the extra acceleration and sprint speed would actually get that. Oh, okay. Well, that finesse shot angle is just not a good one to hit at all, but we want to try it. Oh, we hit the green time there. I wish the defender didn't block it. The shot didn't look like it was going to come off like crazy, though. Oh, the white, white time shot, eh? The white time shot wasn't too bad. It's kind of funny how, like, I'm using Fakir in the cam position right now, and he's just more aggressive in the, stri like, in the cam position than Pele is in the striker position. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that skill move. I have to do something that, like, covers the ball more, like a roulette or something. Yeah, not crazy aggressive to the side position, which I don't mind, to be honest. Kind of like sticks to the middle area more than anything. Oh, he actually got the header there. No chance. No. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. Lone striker position, like, immediately just is not it. Um, those medium, medium work rates. It, it, like, it, a card... You can definitely feel when a card belongs in a certain position. Like, with a medium, medium, I feel like I gotta really use him in that uh, cam spot as much as possible. From there? Okay. If I strike from there, why not? He did go for the initial run, which was great. Like, see, just in this situation right here, like, he's already rotated with the other players, eh? Oh, white time shot again? Oh. Oh, right through the legs. Right through the legs. Come on. Oh, no way. 
Yeah, striker, <laughs> no chads. I mean, you can use them there. If, if you're using him, it, it, listen, if you're using him in a two striker formation, or you're playing like a 4-3-3 where you want your striker to move a certain way, then it's fine. But generally speaking, no, no, no. We must switch this. Mbappe up top and we'll use Pele as the cam. Pass off here. Anything here? Kind of moves into the empty space right there to offer some passing support, which I don't mind. Aggressive run right there at the top. Okay. Oh, those medium mediums, man. I'm telling you. I, I think, like, I don't mind the medium medium, but for this card, it's like I'm... I'm seeing nothing, like, crazy special with the card, man, honestly. First time. Ah, uh, saved by the goalkeeper there. Okay. Like, he, he should have been... He should have continued that aggression right there. Definitely should have continued. First time. I honestly don't even know what he just did right there. Uh, did you guys just see that? Did he just glitch out? Oh, he hits a crossbar there. No, way too much power. I almost had it there too. Got that pass off there though. What do you offer me here, Pele? Oh, through the legs, foul, let's go. Play on, play on. Bang, bang, first time. First time, first time. Oh, there we go. There we go, we made it work. Guys, I'm telling you this right now, don't use this card in any other position but the cam area. Or a secondary striker if you're playing like a 4-4-2, but even still, like... First time there? Oh, bro, there's no way. I, <laughs> Bro, the pick here is way better than this card. <laughs> I swear, I'm not even joking. First time. Oh, the block. No. It's still in. Go, go. Little ball roll. Oh, my goodness. Walker, chill. Oh, no. It was a good tackle. I'm not going to blame Pelly on that one. But uh, I don't know, man. Oh, I should have gone backwards. My first time touch should have gone like forward and then I should have made the pass. Oh, that first time touch, no chance. At least he gets a pass off right there. Put this pass off to Fakir. See what Pele does for me here. Go back here, goes back into position. Let's lay the ball off here. Pass, pass and go, beautiful. Could have made that pass right there. We're not going to though, because I just want to see him a little bit more here. First time. His dribbling, I feel like should feel better than what the stat, I mean, I think it's the body type. Nice strike. Yeah, I think it's the body type, man. The body type is, uh, it's weird. People are going to see me score that banger and they're going to be like, wait a second, what? <laughs> Uh, the dead eye definitely helps out for that, for sure. Guys, I'm going to say that his attacking positioning is a little bit strange um, from a base characteristic. And I will also say that his dribbling should definitely feel better than it is. And I really do think it's like a body type thing, for sure. Uh, it's not terrible by any means, obviously. But it's because of the fact that the card is like a million coins, right? Imagine. Oh, He has this like weird thing to it. I don't know. Like it's decent. I'm not saying it's bad. There's just like for the stats that he has, guys, like 90s, like trust me, like we're talking about sharp touches at 90. Green. Good shot. Good shot. If you were to pack this card and he's your foot heroes card, it's dope. Oh. It's a dope card if you pack him, but like for the price range, it's a little it's 
it's not it's not this price range you know like i'm telling you guys like in comparison like i've used robbie kane so much because giyu has uh his card on his account because he's a f former spurs player right and trust me when i tell you kane is like incredible I, even in the review i was telling you guys he's so good um yeah i don't think a betty pele is on that level like keen is you know i do notice that once i gave him the dead eye chemistry style i like the way that he moves across the pitch way more for sure it definitely helps all his medium medium work rates oh i tried to go for a roulette it didn't register that sucks maybe i didn't get it the the right commands off Oh, from behind, Diop. No. Oh, no. It was a good driven, though. From that angle, he's really far away from the goalkeeper. Yeah, I like to try out the roulette with the instant touch. Yeah, he has this thing to it, man. It's very strange to pinpoint, you know? It's definitely a body type thing. Has to be. Oh. I mean, listen, it was still a white time shot. And white time shots on a four-star weak foot with high shooting, he should still be able to hit it better there. But finesse shots, they've been, like, nerfed like crazy. So, <laughs> okay, guys. So, the last position I'm going to use him in is going to be the lamb position. Just because he's a left-footed player. Uh, because I absolutely adore using Fakir as a cam. For sure. Um, yeah, let's try it out like this. Let's try it out like this and we'll see how it plays. Oh, just like, look at, look at Fakir, like right away in that cam position, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's unique. White time shot, strong foot, dead eye chemistry style. Honestly, that's probably going to be like his best area to use him in. No word of a lie. Like if you're using him on your team, left mid position, lamb position. Because Mars is a medium high and I didn't mind him when I was using him in the side position, even in the right, at the right mid position. But man, I'm telling you, attacking AI guys, he doesn't like he doesn't really offer that much. Like that's a very like generic run for him to make, but I think he makes it more when he's on the dead eye chemistry style, you know? But the finish is good, man. His shooting has definitely been improved ever since I gave him that dead eye. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Abedi Pele card. So with this card, guys, we've actually had this review for a while. Um, only doing the outro now because I just totally forgot to actually do the outro and put them on the YouTube channel because I've been pretty busy with a lot of other stuff, right? So um, yeah, I wanted to talk about this card. So with Abedi Pele, we tried him out on different chemistry styles, you know, Hawk, Hunter, dead eye. Uh, if you use a Hunter and a Deadeye, like, those should be good enough to really try out the card uh, to see what he's capable of in-game. Um, we gave him the Hawk, you know, to boost pace, shooting, and physical. You know, we gave him the Deadeye uh, to boost attacking AI, uh, as well as a shooting as much as possible, working with base card stats for dribbling, all of that good stuff, right? Um, with a Betty Pele in-game, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. For the price that he's at, he's he's a fraud for sure. Um, I feel like this card is nothing special. It's one of those cards where if you were to pack him as an SBC or as a first owner, then obviously it's really cool. to. It's a cool card to pack. I'm not going to say that it isn't, obviously. Uh, but it's just not a special card by any means. I think that his body type is influencing his dribbling because he has 90s for dribbling and, in my opinion, does not feel that way. Uh, maybe it's a combination of body type composure with dribbling because his acceleration and sprint speed is perfectly fine to work with his dribbling stats. Um, yeah, the dribbling is just not... It's not crazy to work with. Uh, attacking AI is nothing special. Honestly, I... There's been a there's been a point in time on my road to glory where if I don't have Correa as my striker, I have no unique attacking AI in that area. A Betty Pele is the same in most of the attacking areas. Like if you use this card, in my opinion, do not use him through the middle. I mean, you can obviously. Like he's like guys. Here's the thing, right? If you're good enough at the game, you'll make this a Betty Pele work for sure. Obviously, he'll score goals for you. He'll dribble, blah blah blah, right? But. Just because you're good at the game, you can utilize a card to its strengths doesn't mean that the card itself is good. In my opinion, I think he's an absolute fraud for the price that he's at. Um, very disappointing because he looked really cool. And 
to be honest with you guys, I've seen people say the same thing about this card, and uh, I was very surprised. I'm like, I, I don't like to hear people's opinions for cards. I like to try them out and see what they're like in-game. Just nothing special, man. Like, I, you guys know me, man. I, I usually, like, I'll play, and I'll just dribble a little bit, just to kind of see how the player moves, and I just... It's one of those cards you have to force instructions out of, because its base characteristics just... I don't know. It's not for me, man. It's one of those cards that... Uh, and again, I'm saying these negative things because he costs this much money, right? But if you packed him, you know, it's obviously a really cool card to pack for the stats that he offers. Because to be honest with you guys, the gap between the low mid tiers and high tier meta cards in this game is absolutely massive. Probably the biggest it's ever been in years. Uh, so if you were to pack a card like this, then yes, he's probably going to be better than a lot of the low mid tier cards that you can get. But low mid tier is not 944k, right? Mid tier is like a Keen card and Keen is like 500k right low tiers is like 200 150k like that's that's where the low is but the medium is this and robbie keen is absolutely way better than sabelli betty pele card for sure keen was sick man i actually wish that i packed him um in my foot heroes pack instead of joe cole joe cole is a great card to get i'm not a, i'm not like against it whatsoever it's just that i needed a striker more than i needed like a a card that i would mainly use in the side positions uh, not as a lone striker. Joe Cole in the two-striker formation, he has that attacking AI, which is great. But with Keen, I feel like I could have used him probably as like a lone striker and he would have been sick. Because with Keen, you could give like an engine to, and he has good attacking AI, he's good shooting, you know, he's dribbling is going to be great. So it's a really, really cool card. Uh, a Betty Pele, it just doesn't feel special, especially for a card that costs way more. Nah, man, this card is uh, is not it. You guys know I'm usually like more political and I'm like, yeah, the card's like not that crazy, but like this card, I just... No chance, man. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.